Hey guys, welcome back in. Thank you so much for joining me for the next part to my Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. In the last episode, we sadly lost Kieran. I guess the O'Driscolls were trying to send a message, so they captured him, tortured him, and sent his body back headless. Kieran will be missed. I didn't bond with him as much as the other people, but I did go fishing with him, and he seemed like a nice guy, which is few and far between in this world. Especially after doing stuff with Micah. There's like a stark difference between the two of them. Micah comes off as someone who would be with the Odriscolls. Versus Kieran seems like someone who would fit in our family here at the camp. But he will be missed. And it's just a very stark reminder that anyone can go at any time. And that's worrying me. I'm like, what if Hosea dies? What if John dies? What if Miss Grimshaw dies? Like, ugh. Because these people, their enemies don't care. They'll just take anyone and it's just a lot to process. What if Dutch dies? Oh my god. No. Okay. I'm escalating it too far. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy and let's jump into the game. I'm thinking let's start with the journal. Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. Killed by the bastards. He saved my life and I could not save his. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. Miss Adler fought braver than any of us. She's driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. I feel like an animal living out in the mud here. Whole place gives me the creeps. The O'Driscolls are the ones that killed her husband, right? Yeah. They did, didn't they? At the very beginning, that was them, and then we went to where they were. She's gonna start a war, isn't she? Oh, Let's see. Hey, Jack. You okay, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. Gonna be okay, kid. Don't be scared. Well, I mean, I can't blame him, it. but... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't blame him at all, but I feel bad. You doing all right, Abigail? I still can't believe that happened to Karen. Yeah, bad business, all right. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right then, Arthur. All right then. Man. I hate that that happened to him too. Let's see, who else can we talk to? What is that dot right there? That was upstairs. Wait, 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 Karen. Hey, Karen. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. I was right. About what? Sandini. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> Agreed. Evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just what? a silly old wife's tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're Tell right. me you're joking. Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. <gasps> in every sense. What if it's the turtle worshippers? I can't remember their names. What if they're drinking blood? Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Okay, see ya, girl. See ya later, toodles. Um, we need more food soon, Mr. Morgan. Okay. I hear you, Mr. Pearson. Oh, I saw someone's comment Feel that said, if you see a boar, grab it on your way back from camp. That was smart. Very smart. Let me guess. Strauss wants me to collect some money. Beat some people up. That's all he thinks I'm good for. Oh wait, hold on. Let me talk to my girl. There she is. Hey Morgan girl. Arthur. <laughs> hey bae. No, I'm kidding. But am I? You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. Okay, okay, well. That's fair. Just checking Damn. you're alright. If you say so. You really had to walk right here? My goodness. It seems like he's doing a little better. At least at the moment. You alright, Reverend? Just trying to make sense of this. I'm scared. We'll be alright. 
Okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> I suppose. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I love it. Anyone else we want to catch later? I don't see anyone. Alright, why in the world is Strauss all the way over here in the alligator water? What's going on? Has he claimed this house for himself? Strauss is unavailable due to your recent actions in the vicinity. Return at a later time. What do you mean? He's literally right here. <laughs> is that Micah? Oh, I'm about to knock this mofo out. What the hell are you doing? Who are you shooting at? Are you okay? You guys. Has he officially lost it? I mean, I know the mosquitoes are bad, but I don't think that's helping. What are you doing? Should I reload my game? <laughs> Can I just punch him? Oopsie, almost killed him. Can you stop? I think he's trying to kill Strauss. Wait, is there a- ah! oh, no. This place is a damn hellhole. There's a rattlesnake. <laughs> okay. I hate them! I can't look. I'm not- I'm not looking. God, I hate snakes. <laughs> Ugh. Is that what he was shooting at? It's okay, Ain't Micah. It about time you had a wash now. <laughs> he was shooting- He was shooting- <laughs> Was he shooting at the snake? Oh. You need little Papa Arthur to kill it for you? Working hard as ever. I make the money. Don't you worry. Nah. I, I got you, clothes. Micah. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Sure, Morgan. You're safe now. Daddy Arthur's safe. Always in the way, ain't you? <laughs> okay, so Strauss doesn't want anything to do with me. Whatever. I guess that means we're doing main story, right? I suppose. No, I'm kidding. I'm happy to be doing that. We could do The Stranger, Trelawney, or Dutch. Or we could do all three. I'm fine with that. We could also stop and look at Charles's exhibition. I think we'll just do everything, yeah? Let's get to San Denis. I'm trying out this new horse. I think I'm just gonna call it Pickle. Alms for the blind. Alms. Oh, wait, what was that? Okay, well. Bounces off stuff is, like pickle. Is someone there? Yes. Anything to spare for a blind man? Sure can. Here you go. Mm. Steal money. Oh, is someone there? I know Whoa. some of you guys did that, didn't you? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, Mister. Aww. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. The thought of someone robbing him is awful. Greetings. That's so sad to think about. Wait, did I finish the conversation with them? We'll ride back. We have to go to Trelawney anyways. Okay. Is this it? Well, that's why I didn't know this was a museum. 
Gallery. Laurent. Wait, where? Upstairs. This way? I love the, the style show? of the buildings if that's here. Possible. What's okay. this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Chatternay. Don't see for yourself, but don't blame me. Don't blame me. Wait, what? The sooner you go in there, the sooner you can come out. <laughs> okay. Now I'm nervous. What? What's I just that? Don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Okay. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. All right. You go compose yourself. <laughs> uh, you. Mister, excuse me. You okay? You know when you have one of those days... We'll miss the party. Anyway. Okay. Onwards and upwards. They don't want to talk to me. Now, what is progressive? I think that it's Greek. <gasps> Wait! Wait. Or could be Roman. <gasps> the wolves! No way! The horses? The alligator? Oh my goodness! You know, it's <gasps> Italian. No! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Why did that make me emotional? Did I make a friend? <laughs> it might just be from someone over in Blackwater. I'm such a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he put me in his art sh or his gallery, sh whatever you call this. I don't know. What do you call photographs? He put me in the show. Oh my god. I want to give him a hug. Next Bottom time we see him. Why didn't he say anything? Hold on. Mr. Chardonnay. He's just a terror. It's making me blush. Like, I'm making sure... I just want to make sure he sees this. Like, Arthur, are you seeing this with your eyeballs? Because if we see Albert again, I'm curious if he'll acknowledge the fact that his photos... Arthur, look. There you are. <laughs> okay. Who knows? I find the brushwork baffled. Oh! What's he trying to represent? Us Look at these the... idiots. Get the... Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Definitely Couldn't you have painted some drawings on her? <laughs> Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Close our civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. Oh. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. As new as the day she was born. <laughs> Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. <laughs> Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's it. Oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh, oh, come on, horse. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I just got strangled by a ghost! Arthur. Arthur! Knock him out! There we go. Need my hat back. I'm 
I mean, is anyone seeing this? There's no witnesses. No money? Nothing. This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. No one could have prepared me for the mama comment. <laughs> no one. Gallery. This way, this way. Come on. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, we are okay. Like art gallery. The exhibition. What can you say? It was not for me. <laughs> that it was not. Charles, you I'm might want to hide for more than a few him. days. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent bush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no. You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. Good luck with that. So that I gave you, it would be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Okay. Right now seems like the only thing it'd get me. Sorry, is sorry. Balls. Sorry. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird. So it's did me. he What the <laughs> Oh my god. Standing in your grave. I'm I am done. I'm done. My My luck is so bad. Where's the wind? No 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 no. Whose hat is this? Whose hat is this? The cops are on their way. Damn it! The cops are on their way. Sweet Jesus! What? Out of the damn world! Oh, what in the hell? Come on! Damn! Come on, pickle! I know I'm running away from pickle, but I'm trying to get in the safe zone. Come on! I think Pickle 1.0 was faster than this. Okay, let's get out of here. Lay low for a little while. So, did he sleep with his subjects? Did he sleep with the mom? I have so many questions. Maybe we'll never know. Whoa, there, girl. Yep. Who should we go to next? Lemoyne Bounty 5. Okay, that's not that bad. That's nothing. Truly. Could have been worse. I'm thinking we go to... Maybe the stranger? Yeah. I feel good about that. Okay. <gasps> I don't know. Oh, there's a cop. Play cool, play cool. Go, 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 go! Oh, there's another one! I just gotta keep my distance, I think. And, and all should be fine. Don't you test my They're everywhere! Oh. oh, this was a really bad place. I knew that was a bad idea. No! No! Can I 
surrender? I haven't shot a gun yet. Come on. Prove yourself, pickle. That's him! Shoot, damn it! No, it's not! I'm not him! My bounty's only five dollars. This is so dramatic. Come on. Come on. <laughs> did he just call me a sucker? I think he did. I'm about to lose it. Everywhere I go, they all of a sudden see me. Should I be hiding instead? Alright, we're about to go swimming. Come on! Come on! Maybe I should go hide in the fields. Come on, come on, come on. One more. We're about to disappear. They don't know where I'm at. They lost me. I'm doing circles. He's slipping right through. It all holds you a bullet. <laughs> No one make a w sound. He needs glasses. I can't believe this worked. Wow. You get a beat. Okay, law searching. We just gotta chill out. Maybe eat some salted beef. Everything is fine. Some celery. Good. Very good. What else? No, that's enough. Actually, we can do some brushing. Are they gone? I don't know. Some more brushing? I don't know, I'm scared to move. There, girl. There, there. Okay, I think I got away. I'm just gonna get out of the red zone. Okay. We just gotta let the red disappear and then we're golden, right? At least I hope so. We're hiding under this bridge. Yes. This is perfect. Can you see me? Oh, oh, oh. Alright. <laughs> I now live under this bridge. Come on. Just the D. Let's go. Come on. Get it gone. Okay. Where can I pay my bounty at? Okay, pay my bounty. Hi. And now, see you around, see you around sir. Hopefully no more bounties like here. Let's go to the question mark now. Atlantic, Atlantic, Link, Atlantic Electric Company. All right, where's that question mark guy? Across from the uh, the sheriff station. Oh, there it is. Hello. All right, what's going on here? Excuse me. 
Yes. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Ooh. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't Me? very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a uh, bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, no. but we're very desperate. No, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, he I'm says very sorry that, for your but, but come on. I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. That's so crazy that they were the ones Hello. that were standing on Mr. the... Miller, the council wants to apologize. The cliff. He can see you now. We've we been were waiting, driving I the carriage. I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay, well... Meet Eagle Flies near Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar. Hey, I gotta be somewhere. Come on, girl. I mean, it's unfortunate that Arthur can only do it for money, but it makes sense. Like he said, he's wanted. And so if he's putting himself at risk, it needs to at least be for gaining something for the group. That makes sense to me. And this is clearly a big risk. Because it's Leviticus Cornwall. Maybe if it was someone else. Where does he want me to meet him at? It's not on my map, weirdly enough. So maybe we go to Trelawney. I'm thinking maybe it's like triggered by a certain time of day or something. Maybe night. Hmm. I don't know. If it said night, I didn't realize. Maybe that's what it is. Let's go to Trelawney first. I'm kind of excited to rob Leviticus Cornwall. Probably not a good idea, but he has it coming. Hey, move it. Are you oh, oh, wait. Oops. There's something wrong with you. Why are you troubling me, huh? Blind man is gone. Huh. 
interesting. Hello. Was he actually blind? He wasn't faking, was he? A fine night of debauchery. Oh my god, what is about to happen? Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Whoa, now, wait, if you want what? To fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, play come what? On. Are we still doing that? Please. Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Please tell me he's talking about poker and not dominoes. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Okay, we need a we are three piece on the town this suit. Evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make Reap this gentleman that? look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. Can I change the colors? The in his profile. The heavy brow. I have no choice, can I? I just have to get that one. A very good choice, sir. Can't look at anything else. Nope. Man, Arthur cleans up Come nice. On, let's you to the sure. Good luck My hair looks tonight, nice. Gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. <gasps> Poker. And Wait, no, no, no. What if it's blackjack? Flamboyantly while you win, and everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields, come to lay it on thick and drunk. Okay. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off, and that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well I can't after wait. the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No. No. But we, you... All of us will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Coming. I've pretty much been a wanted man since the second I loaded the game. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? That was rude. Damn. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. And learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Okay, we'll go down to a two. Very, uh, very clean good, cut. Sir. No. And then for not hair. Good. Not good at all. Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. What does he want? Don't tell me I have to pomade it. Don't don't say that. He wants me to pomade it, doesn't he? Hold on. Make him look like a prince, sir. Hair is cut. Do you want it palmated? Is that what, what you're requesting here? No facial hair? I can't do it. No, 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 no. You can see the scars on his chin more. No. I feel like two looks good. There, very smart. Are you happy? On, let's get to the box. I feel I'll like I may not have needed to pomade it. For us. Why did I do this? Oh, we're going fancy. We're riding in style. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. 
Well, oh my gosh. Look at you. I'm excited. I hope it's poker. The prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash. Countrified yokels. Money to <laughs> Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Bump okay. your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. Saint Ham. So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way? The driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. I know that Recently? One. Oh, man. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Uh, a few things. And Hopefully nothing, but... Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, Ooh. we'll collect these from you later. Very That's good, okay. Sir. Thank you, The George. only weapons good I luck, need are, <laughs> are these fists. Now remember what I I'm going to get knocked out. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. <gasps> Wait! Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me are. of, um... Gentlemen! Ozarks. A wonderful to see you. The Netflix Arthur, show? you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? That, Come on, Jim. um, boat Champions reminds me of that. Dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hey, boys. Looking very nice. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Is this why Strauss wouldn't let me do his on, side mission? Come on, let's head aboard. Because he was drinks here? Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. All right, drinks on me. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The table's await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. My wife now Mary or my wife Sadie? <laughs> Which one? Are you joining us? Apparently so. Hello, gentlemen. We Play have a poker. With your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I wish they would let me I play like for this real. Joint already. We Your cards, please, sir. Okay. So. What are we thinking, you guys? How are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? Quiet. Um. I'll Wait, go ahead and not call. Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to draw attention to myself, so I'm trying to play it cool. Ooh, I. Okay, sorry, well, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. I need an eight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. I need an eight. You know what? Call. Screw it. Here we go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. 
I might need to, I might need to lose the first hand for Mr. it to Blyde seem more legit. Yeah, queens. yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Let him win. Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, Queens. I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Mr. Callahan? I'll call. I've completely forgotten that Strauss was helping me. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. I'm all in. Unless I'm reading this wrong. I mean, he's shaking his head. Pair of cowgirls. Did I win? Ship. Ship. Wait, what did I win? How? Yes, my luck hell. Is that you done? Just the Dumb better hand? Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Got him. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. <laughs> Look at you. An expensive one. He Real took the fine. bait. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. Tell it's me more. worth more than you. A watch, really? Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. Back then, they so were making watches that expensive? No Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Okay. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't okay. Worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. You guys, this is not how you play poker, right? Like, who in their right mind goes all in before any cards are laid down? Your action, Mr. Callahan. That's silly, right? Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Wait. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? We might Gentlemen, as well. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Oh. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Hey, Javier. Follow I mean, me, gentlemen. Actually, I don't me, know sir. him. Okay. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little law giver right Is he here. talking about Javier? Very good. What an asshole. Next, Ew. we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm about to punch him in the back of the I head. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier and it really is a handsome piece. Is Foreign he playing made, me? But you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Okay. Just give me one second, sir. Okay. Of course, take your time. All right. Don't re 
reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Uh uh uh. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> How much is in here? Probably a lot. I mean, someone heard that, right? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Oh, someone heard that. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Is that a good gun? It won't let me know. Okay, we're fine. Let's just leave. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Oh, we gotta hurry. I feel like we should have tossed the bottle, the, the bodies off the water. On. And how exactly are we getting out of here? Jump! I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can canning <laughs> off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I mean, he's probably safer than days. anyone. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Yeah, Maybe that's we smart. Can still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. Yeah. To the bar, senor. I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat. Strauss. So you to take back the insinuation. We need to go. There he we need is. To go. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Ah! Oh, come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here. This ends here. This is Facey, man. man? Headshots only. Do not let him leave here. <laughs> Good shot, Strauss. Oh, shit. My dog's having a terrible spot here. I'm uh, not the guy, I'm afraid. Get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out. I don't know. This ain't my shit. Wait, where's the... Where's that other guy? Did we kill him? Or did he just escape? I think he got away. This is over for you. It's always Javier has died. It's always okay. I'll tell you guys what I was trying to do. I thought that if the guy in the red jacket that I gambled against was here, dead, maybe he would have like a lot of money on him. But I guess not. I knew we were swimming back. What kind of plan was this, Trelawney? Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. How much, I wonder? What, do I sell it to the fence? I can't believe I died. I was just trying to be smart. I thought if he was dead, maybe he would have like a thousand on him or something. But no. 6,000. 
Okay, 750. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice. And now we have the other mission popped up. Perfect. That worked out great. Baby C. Jim Boy Calloway. <gasps> you've you've dealt with all the gunslingers. Go to Calloway and Levin with the findings. No way! Finally! Okay, perfect. Let's go do that. Can't you help me fill out? Mickey needs some money. Where's he at? I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. I got you, Mickey. Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. You have an open Can mail? Can buck, mister? Sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. I'm a sucker for handing people money. Okay. Wonder what I have. And from who? Howdy. Howdy. Let's see. Hello there and welcome. Receive mail. Invitation from Mayor Lamo. Inspect document. Let's see. May 1899. Monsieur Kilgore. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions, it is hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now I have spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly, but just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung-ho frontier spirit and my cold old world cynicism moment, so let me know if you like anything. Could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting at least. Come to the back of the mayoral residence any night you wish. Knock on the door and my assistant, Jean-Marc, will let you in. I hope to see you soon. Your newest friend, Henry Lamo. Lamoy. I don't know how you say that. Okay. So we need to go to his residence Thanks, mister. at night. Mister. Mister. Pickle, what are you doing in the middle of the road? I'm not 100% that this is the new pickle, okay? We're testing it out, seeing how it goes. But I do love the way this horse looks. Let me park the horse right here, I say. I was just thinking about the gunslinger thing, too. Hey. I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. You're kidding there. me. Saint Denis <laughs> on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. <laughs> really? Okay, well. I wouldn't drink here though. Came all Get the way over here. Saint Denis and hand you some Sazerac. Okay. If there's anything else I can do, you let me know. Uh, he's back. All right. Well, the fact that he very quickly tells me that <gasps> they just ran over that dog tells me that they're in San Denis after I journeyed here. I think it's awful convenient. Oh, hey, friend. Remember me? Hey, friend. I remember you. Get the hey, you hey, I sure else. do. This here is the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that uh got the venom out of your leg. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend. The one and only. I, know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab. Oh. That is well, mighty nice thanks. of you, sir. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, the Almighty. Always a doubter you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next one. Anyway. Okay. I don't know if I even need anything from this gunsmith, hey, honestly. What can I do for you? I might just Better buy some ammo or something. I could grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. Yeah, all he's good I mean, for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab. Wait, did I unlock some new stuff? Evans repeater. I wonder if that's good. 
Litchfield repeater. I like the guns I have is the issue. I don't really know what I would buy. Mm. Ooh, what about a repeating shotgun? 185. I'm gonna get that. And it's locked. <laughs> of course. The one thing I wanted. I can't have. Dang it. Permanently increases capacity for repeater, rifle, and shotgun ammo by 50%. Permanently slows degradation for all weapons by 10%. Um, let's get this. Fine choice. I'll let them know. Bye now. Now what in the world is going on over here, boys? Yep. First time, mister. I'm going to the island. The here is a silly bull. And Protus isn't a boy at all. But Where? Chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. What am I hearing? That's very useful if you need to climb a tree. Upstairs? Good conversation it does nobody. not make. He was always a sickly child. Sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. No, you not the twins. Punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Is this really Arthur. how she spends Arthur her time? Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll I break hope I his glass off. jaw and knock I'll them be off. left standing. And the off. Knight <laughs> and the knave. Good idea. Knock them Hit off me, this then. planet. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. I'm afraid if I hit them, I'm going to knock out their last brain cell they're sharing. <laughs> you really walloped him. Can I punch this one now? My yikes. I'm fine. Come on. Ooh, look there. I got a proper chin. What is Guard wrong with them? Egg. Good Lord above. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, hit me again. Right here. What is wrong with you guys? Oh. They're poor mom. Never to hit girls? She must have went once. through it. Give me your worst. I think he's done for. Just keep pu just keep Barely punching. Even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the Manhood. Uh. <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> Enough, gentlemen. Uh, yes, uh -huh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. What alive. is she doing? Him, please run. Oh, there, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Um, okay. He kind of looks like Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> when he had that long beard? Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not, and you know it. Okay, where is Pickle? There she is. Well, slowly. There you are. All right, girl. I keep trying to hold circle to run because I've been playing Elden Ring on Twitch. And that's how you run. <laughs> so I keep doing it. And then I'm like, why is he walking? Okay, let's go to the next thing. Hold on. Let me mark it. We're going to Eagle Flies. And I guess we're robbing Leviticus Cornwall again. Yeah. Ah. The fact that this is a main story thing makes me start to question if this goes well. Because it might have some serious impact on the future. But. Oh well.
Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. <laughs> Just kidding. Who would do that? Hello. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Okay. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Oh my god, I love that it's raining for this. That's the best. Okay. First try. No mission failed. I gotta get this. What does it say on the side? Cornwall... Maybe industries or something? I can't tell what that second word is. Oh, maybe kerosene? Yeah, Cor Cornwall kerosene. Yeah. Can I just say how awesome the soundtrack for this game is? is that you, Al? Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep, supposed oh. to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. wagon Okay. <gasps> go, 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 go. Uh, you must be damn Barry. Who? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Damn, Barry. Yes? I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Come. Does that seem important right now? You know I'm from no. head office. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The 
one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Nope. <clears throat> nope. See? What we're not gonna do is make up excuses. Damn, Barry. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice <laughs> floor as this. It's here. It's here. I know. Go get it. I'm fully aware. And you also need a haircut. Now, was that so hard? You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Escape through the window. Oh, that's smart. Okay. Hey, 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 hey! Hold it right there! Weapons on the ground and uh... hands in the air! Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't take it! <laughs> to watch some of that oil burn so you met mr danbury yeah sure did. don't worry he was very obliging i thought you wasn't getting involved thought you were gonna enter and leave silently thank you well you saved my life thank why you it's not my style i hope well i don't know what i hope but who knows maybe these will be of some use here's your money Thank you. Look at it burn. Who is that? Wait, you guys see that one? Look. Who 
is that? Help the blind. Help the blind. Coming. Help the blind. The fact that he's just right here. Help the blind. Well, let me help a blind man. Okay. Okay, sure. I sense great confusion in you, sir. Great confusion. Not because you do not know, but because you are afraid of what you know. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Mmm. Not because you do not know, but because you're afraid of what you know. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear. I know I've talked to him before. Does he say something new to you every time you talk to him, maybe? He must. There's a stranger right there. Let's go check it out. It's up there where the campfire is, I guess. What do we think that means? You're afraid of what you know. Come on, girl. Idiot. My mind immediately goes to Dutch. Or Micah. Maybe it's never going to be enough for Dutch? Or like Dutch can't let go of this life, maybe? In a way that others want to? Huh. I gotta remember that. Oh. I wonder if Arthur is going to write something in the journal. In reference hey to that. Come. Stop on by for a moment. Okay. The name's William. Hey, William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Sure. Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. No. Uh, well... Let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I say we help him. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Okay. I think I already had some. You're in luck. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. That quick? You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Take remedy. Okay, what is it? This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Oh, is it just horse remedy? Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. All right. See you later, sir. Nice meeting you. I love this this game. I love finding people. 
There's so much to do, it's kind of overwhelming, but in the best way, if that makes sense. It only overwhelms me because I'm afraid of how much I'm missing, but that's okay. I just have to try to experience it as thoroughly as possible, and that's all that matters. And I can always play it again down the road, you know, if I miss some stuff. a second okay is this the burn down town let's go over here really quick because i think i have a gold bar waiting for me wait i gotta heal he gave me horse remedy right canned salmon yum I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but every time he eats canned salmon, and maybe this is a southern thing, I don't know, maybe not. You guys can let me know. Growing up, we always had... Oh, I'm not getting involved in this. Nope. I just paid about $600 worth of bounties. I'm staying out of it. Growing up, we always had canned salmon, salmon, however you say it, in biscuits like made patties out of it and you fry it and then you would eat it in a biscuit with mayonnaise for breakfast <laughs> i never said it was healthy but it was delicious Hold up. and that just made me think of it i don't know why yeah. this game it just brings memories out of nowhere All right, we should be getting close. Hey, hey. hey, now, slow down, slow down. Burn down town. I don't know if I've been here. I've seen the burn down woods, those, but I haven't seen a burn down town. I'm sure I've rode past it. I just don't remember. This way? Oh, yeah, I never noticed this. Limpany. Wonder what happened here. Must have probably been some outlaws came through. Burned it down. All right, wait, wait, wait. What are we looking for again? We're looking for... This is the saloon. I think someone said sheriff's ah! office in the comments. Sheriff, there it is. Maybe in the desk? Oh, hold on a second. Well, 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 what do we have here? Finders keepers, losers weepers. Special horse stimulant and a gold bar. Heck yes. Okay, so I have two gold bars I need to sell. I wonder if there's anything else here. Like what's going on in this building? Oh, I don't like this. Hold on. Do I have a lantern? <gasps> oh. Did he starve to death? Oh. 
That's awful. I just left him here. <sighs> wow. I really just left him. That's terrible. Hmm. There's something over here. We could go check that out really quick. I do not need the lantern. So let's put that away. Okay, Is it kind of crazy that I missed the other pickle? Yep. I might switch back. This horse is pretty, but I feel like I've bonded with the other one. And I don't know. I think we need to need to go back. I never thought I would say that, but I think I have bonded with the true pickle. <laughs> that sounds weird. But it's true. I've bonded with the pickle. Yep. Yeah. Now what is over here? Yeah. There's a question mark. Oh shit. Sorry. I didn't mean to bust in like I own the place. What is it? Oh. Hey, watch <laughs> out! Sorry. Something here? No, not poker. Who is it? Here? Oh wait, hold on. This guy. Hmm. Hello. Yeah, do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank Smoking you. and other hobbies. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampart. At your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think There's about this deal. no way. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. There's no way I'm gonna get a complete set. No way. Inspect card. Phineas T. Ramsbottom. Cartolist. Did he say life affirming cigarettes? I'm pretty sure he did. Alrighty, you guys, this is where we're gonna stop. I feel like this is exactly what I needed after what happened with Kieran in the last part, and it's just been such an emotional roller coaster. This part was a lot of laughs and a lot of fun, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm curious if the beginning with Micah freaking out was a bug or not, or maybe he was just shooting at the snake, but if he was shooting at the snake, he has the worst aim I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> bad very bad like i said earlier i just love this game so far the story the side stuff the character building the world building the soundtrack all of it everything combined has just made this such a different experience than the other games i'm used to playing i'm kind of i'm new to the story game world so this channel was really like me 
getting started and playing these types of games. And I've played The Witcher, but I did that on Twitch. Was it last year? I did it on Twitch when I started streaming and I loved The Witcher. And I feel like this is The Witcher, but better. I don't know how to explain that, but that's how it feels. It's similar, I guess, because of the open world thing that's going on, but I just, I love this game and I am so, so grateful to have this channel and have this community and be able to play this with you guys and for you guys. I don't know. I know I would enjoy it playing it alone, but something about playing it on YouTube and having you guys interacting during it and, you know, helping me and guiding me, giving me tips when I need them and being able to see you guys point out things that I never noticed. Like, um, there was a comment in the last part about John yanking Jack during the shootout with the O'Driscolls and I never even seen that even when I edited it I didn't notice and just little things like that you guys point out details that I would never notice and I've seen comments that are like I've played this game three times and I never seen something that you did I feel like we're all we're all seeing different versions of the game and pointing things out and it's just special so thank you guys for being here I'm getting sappy I don't know why but yeah, just thanks for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys for the next one. Bye, guys.